Hi everyone! Welcome to Pro Visual Tutorials. In this video I'll show you how you can place and showcase your design using Pro Visual and 3D mockups. I'll also explain why this is an important and very often an overlooked part of selling your design to a client. The process I'm going to show will help you save a lot of time. And as you know, time is the most critical asset not only for you, but also for business owners. So, say goodbye to the never-ending revisions, and instead, spend your free time exploring the 3D mockups and uplifting your presentations. In this video, I'm going to use a pre-designed jeans brand, which includes a brand logo, color palettes, and various shapes. Time to open a 3D mockup in ProVisual to showcase your design in action and give your client a real idea of how their branding will look on the apparel, packaging, transport, devices, and on many other interesting objects. Let's see how you can implement your creative ideas with 3D mockups. Let's navigate to the 3D model section and select an object for our tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to customize the 3D mockup of jeans. This is the one. Great. Let's create a new project. On the left side of the window that has just opened, you can see the panel with scenes. Here you can create new variations of the 3D mockup, each with different design, materials, and environment settings. You will be able to add the new ones and delete the ones you don't need. Below, in the scene elements, we see the structure of the 3D model, where all separate elements are grouped into the folders. On the right side of the screen, you can see the design layers, where you can add your design and work with each design layer separately. Below, you can find the panel with the setup of the material you select. At the bottom of the viewing window, there is a toolbar which you can use to perform quick actions with the 3D model, some of which we will cover in this tutorial. To see more useful features and possibilities of ProVisual, you can go to the Tutorials panel by clicking on the corresponding icon at the lowermost toolbar. This is how the default setup of the mock-up looks like. Just look at how detailed the fabric and seams are. They look incredible. Such attention to details is rare to find. Now let's add the design to the jeans. To add the design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design in another editor. I've prepared a few design elements. Let's add the first one. In this window, we see the editor, where we can move and modify our design. Here on the left, the position of our design on the 3D model is always displayed in real time. It's amazing how easy it is in ProVisual. Now let's add a design to the other part of the jeans. To do this, click on the Add Image button. Here, we also place our design based on the UV map and the 3D model preview in the left window. Next, we will turn the model and add a design to the back pockets. Nice! Now we only need to add a label to the jeans. Let's do it. Wonderful. We have added all the parts of the design to the jeans. Let's save it. Now we'll add colors to our jeans. Let's start with the right leg. On the design panel, select the background layer to make it active. Next, we change the color of the material. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette or enter the color code manually. Like this. 
Now in the material settings, we will make the fabric more matte and soft. Now we will copy the right leg material and apply it to the left leg. Great. Now we will apply the color to the rest of the jeans using the same method. Doesn't it look great? Now let's find the right material for the label. On the design panel, select the background layer to make it active. In the materials gallery, in the leather section, we will look for the best option. This material works well. Let's apply it. Next, we will change the color of this material. Now, in the material settings, we will slightly increase the texture size and make the material a little lighter. That's it. The next step is to add a bright color to the seams of the jeans. Like so. Next, let's go to the buttons and apply a different color to make them look real. Yes, this is the color. We also need to edit the color of the material inside the jeans. Let's do it. Great jeans with a bright, unique design. I think the client will be impressed. Now I'll show you how you can change the material of the design that we've applied earlier. Yes, you heard that right. Select one of the legs and make the design tab active. I'm going to add volume to the design using our wonderful bevel feature. After this, if you need to change the lighting of the 3D mock-up, you can open the environment settings. Here, you can change the position of the light sources vertically and horizontally. You also can set up the color of the light sources. I will slightly modify the light sources horizontally and vertically, and I'll add some contour light by changing the rim light settings. Nice! I like it. Now we need a background. We have lots of pre-made background options in ProVisual. We can choose a solid fill as the background, or we can go for a gradient fill. Here, we can select the colors and also set the direction of the fill, linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've prepared for you, or add your own image. Let's add one. Excellent. You can turn on moving lights to see how the light enhances the shape and texture of the 3D model. Rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. Save your client's money by using Pro Visual. You achieve this as you visually demonstrate how your design and client's product will look in real life before even printing it posting it on social media, or other online platforms. Thanks to ProVisual, you provide your client with a visual representation of your design and confidence in the decisions made. One more reason I like working with ProVisual 
is that I can quickly suggest the diversity of the design options or additional materials for a brand and then sell them to the client. Saving the project. After you've completed your design, you can share it with everyone by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Share it with colleagues, friends, or clients. And that's the end of our tutorial on designing Jean's 3D mockup. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.